What's going on YouTube? This is NecroStevo and today's Mega Pokemon Overview is going to be Mega Sableye. Now, he got a fantastic boost back with the hidden abilities um, and getting Prankster as a hidden ability. And once again, we see Mega Sableye getting a really good boost. Uh, his stats uh, have been balanced to kind of suit uh, the way he's played with Prankster, which uh, I don't really... I. We can go back and forth on whether or not Magic Bouncer or Prankster is more useful. They both suit very unique purposes. And Magic Bounce, of course, for those of you who don't know, Magic Bounce will bounce back or reflect back in the same way um, that Magic Coat does um, status moves or non-attacking moves. So anything like Leech Seed, Taunt, even Roar or Will-O-Wisp, anything like that will be bounced back and affect the attacker. Now what does this mean for Mega Sableye? With a boost to his attack and special attack both going up to 85, and then his defense and special defense going up to 125 and 115 respectively, and dropping 30 points from his speed, which he doesn't really need anyway, especially because he gets so many um, priority moves, we see his stats being optimized a little bit. Now, he does have a base 50 HP, similar to Diancy. Having that low HP really takes away from his ability to take hits. Um, it doesn't really matter when your defenses are that high if you don't have the hit points to back it up. That being said, unlike Diancy or other Pokemon with base 50 speed, he only has one weakness. Of course, that one weakness is the fairy types. So he will be able to play around that one weakness a little bit better. And of course, with Magic Bounce, you won't be able to toxic or taunt him or stop him from using um, the moves that he would use if you were a Prankster Sableye. Now some of the common sets that you're probably going to see um, are going to utilize similar themes to what you would see with a Prankster Sableye, but probably with um, a little bit more staying power in mind. Now, the most common thing that I would picture seeing are probably either going to be a fully defensive set utilizing moves like Will-O-Wisp and Knockoff, uh, maybe even Foul Play, just because then you don't have to invest any into attack. Um, of course, Knockoff just has utility because items are so important in today's metagame, whereas Will-O-Wisp is important for the increasingly physical side that we're seeing in the metagame. Uh, but of course, I think we're also going to see usage of Calm Mind or Nasty Plot. Since Sableye does get access to recover through breeding, um, he'll be able to set up a Calm Mind or a Nasty Plot relatively easily with those high defenses. Uh, granted, he doesn't have a way to boost his physical attack, which would be more ideal because then he doesn't need to rely on speed or anything like that, but it does allow Sableye to function pretty well in a trick room. Something else I think we're going to see is just a general utility set, uh, utilizing knockoff to get rid of items, a priority move, whether it be Sucker Punch or Shadow Sneak, and then utility moves like either Recover or um, Will-O-Wisp, or we, you could even see Toxic or things like that, just depending on what the team needs. Unfortunately, Sableye, uh, well, I guess fortunately if you're using it, unfortunately if you're facing it, Sableye gets a very large amount of coverage moves. For example, it gets all the elemental punches, um, it can be tutored with Dark Pulse, I see one for dragon or flying types. Um, low kick, of course, does damage based on your weight. So really, really uh, heavy Pokemon such as Snorlax and uh, Tyranitar will take a lot of heavy damage from that while they are generally unable to one hit KO Sableye. That being said, uh, using those physical coverage moves is a little bit better because Mega Sableye cannot be burnt with Will-O-Wisp um, unless you somehow get Mold Breaker onto a Pokemon that's trying to burn something. But that's neither here nor there. Checks and counters that you're going to be seeing for Mega Sableye are going to be bulky fairy types. Now, why that? It's because number one, they can hit him with this one weakness, which is fairy. And also, they aren't really afraid of anything that Mega Sableye is going to do. Um, outside of a more physical set, since more fairies are generally specially oriented, which even with the physical set base 85 physical attack isn't going to do much, Mega Sableye can run Poison Jab, but that's going to be relatively uncommon since he has so many other better coverage options. But Florges, Togekiss, Aromatisse, they can all come in on Mega Sableye, take any hit for the most part, barring some crit with a, a boost, and they can hit it back with a Moonblast, which has a chance of decreasing the special attack. They can use uh, Aromatherapy to heal off other status elements that are on the other parts of their teams, and they can use Wish to pass uh, HP off to other teammates or just generally stall out Mega Sableye. 
Another idea that might be good to put some pressure on a team utilizing Mega Sableye is Toxic Spikes. Uh, granted, you don't want to use them when your opponent has a Mega Sableye already Mega Evolved, but if they don't have their Sableye Mega Evolved, set them up and then you can at least get some type of status infliction onto Sableye, Sableye before he Mega Evolves. Now some excellent partners for Sableye are going to be things that can deal with those checks and counters. Uh, special shoutouts to Caesar just because he has a really powerful bullet punch and he generally doesn't fear anything from fairies besides Togekiss having something like Heat Wave. Uh, Crobat is also really good just because he can form the rules of a fast Pokemon that can taunt or defog to stop those hazards from going up. And of course Cross Poison allows him to hit those fairies back pretty hard. Um, also, since Sableye is now slower, he doesn't have access to Prankster. You may want to forego using Recover since he will be so slow in trying to use it and just go with some Wish or Cleric support to get rid of those uh, nasty elements that hit him before he's able to Mega Evolve. So be sure to let me know what you guys think of Mega Sableye. I think that he'll actually be really, really useful. I don't see him being that popular early on, but when people realize that he's a little bit difficult to counter once he's Mega Evolved, I think we will see a, a, a little bit more usage of him and, and more offensive capabilities, just because of his ability to take a hit, set up, and then recover the HP back. But either way, I look forward to uh, seeing Mega Sableye in action, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye bye everyone.